Welcome to Open Your Reality, everyone. My name is Chad. This video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not gonna have all the bells and whistles and do all the music and all the stuff I usually do. I just wanna get down to brass tacks and talk about the seven different soul levels that exist in the spirit world and in reality. And this information comes from the work of Dr. Michael Newton, who was an amazing person. He was a hypnotherapist who regressed thousands of people over many decades back to the time before they were born. How could he do that? Because he regressed them to the spirit world or afterlife. Basically, I use the two terms interchangeably and to their past lives. But what he noticed is that after putting so many people under hypnosis that they started to talk about the same things in the spirit world. And Dr. Newton noticed this correlation and he began to formulate a theory or thesis based on it and put together two wonderful books, Journey of Souls and Destiny of Souls, which I highly recommend you read. And so the information I'm about to tell you comes specifically from these books and a little bit from the Law of One. Now, the first soul is a level one. It's a beginner soul. These are souls that don't have many incarnations. And 42% of Dr. Newton's clients were a level one. And every soul has a particular color to its body or its aura in the spirit world. And level one souls have a white color. And is it any wonder because white symbolizes innocence, beauty, and naivete. And maybe that's why in the martial arts system, every belt begins with white. You always start off with that white belt, pure and innocent. Now moving up to a level two soul, Dr. Newton classifies it as a lower intermediate. And these are people that move out of the beginner phase, they're into the lower intermediate, and they have a reddish yellow tinge to their aura in the spirit world. Now 31% of all the clients Dr. Newton put under hypnosis were level two. So that tells me right there that 73% of all the clients that Dr. Newton put under hypnosis were level one or level two. And if we correlate that to the population, which I don't know if we can exactly do that, but if it's somewhat close, that means almost three quarters of the population would be level one and level two. So we're dealing with mostly immature souls. And perhaps that explains why the world is the way it is. And I don't have to tell you how the world is. You know what's going on. Now, a level three has a yellow U in the spirit world. Dr. Newton classifies it as intermediate. And this is a soul that's even more rare. Only 17% of all the clients Dr. Newton hypnotized were actually a level three. And now we're moving along to the level four soul. Level four souls only accounted for 9% of all the people that Dr. Newton put under hypnosis. They have a dark yellow with traces of blue color in their aura in the spirit world. And Dr. Newton classifies them as being upper intermediate. These are people that probably have had between 50 and 100 lifetimes. And now we get to level five, which Dr. Newton classified as the advanced soul. This soul has the colors of a uh, light blue in its aura in the spirit world. And only 1% of all the people that Dr. Newton saw were level five. It means one out of 100. So if we take that to correlate into society, very few people are going to be level five. And level fives are still interacting in society. These are people like social workers, volunteers, people who give selflessly of their time without expecting anything in return. And we probably all come across these people in our lifetimes, but it is rare, being that they're only 1% of the population. Once you get to level five, you basically come to a certain point in your quality of consciousness or your evolution of consciousness, and you will no longer need to come back to learn lessons on the earth plane. At that point, you could incarnate into other more advanced worlds, or you could take a role in the spirit world to help lesser evolved souls. Souls that are advanced just don't go off to the beach. They don't go to vacation. They continue to help the whole system. And the reason for this is because really like the law of one says, we are all one. And so all the lower evolved souls need to be brought up by the more advanced souls. It makes sense. Now, as we get into level six and level seven souls, these are souls we probably will never come across in our lifetime, or if we do, 
it is very, very rare. The level six soul is the super advanced soul classified by Dr. Newton. It has a dark bluish purple you to its aura in the spirit world and dr newton's clients referred to it or them as the sages these are people probably like paramahansa yogananda who i've made videos about if you want to watch a cool video you can watch it here uh, people like swami nityananda who was an amazing guru from the 20th century also made a video on him you can watch that one here as well and even people like buddha and the count of saint germain and some of the other ascended masters now, when we get to level seven, Dr. Newton doesn't have any name to specify them. His clients called them the old ones. That's how they refer to them. These are beings that have a straight up purple U in their aura, in the spirit world. So if you see one, you know you're dealing with the highest level soul there is. And these souls, I'm safe to say they've stopped reincarnating a long time ago, and they probably take on a very serious role in the afterlife, kind of like the Council of Elders. They could be sitting on that panel, or maybe they may be getting ready to merge back in with the source. You know, in law of one terms, they would be seventh moving into eighth density. But suffice to say, I don't think we would ever encounter a level seven being on the planet, unless it was somebody like a Babaji, it's not someone that lives on the planet, they can teleport, they can materialize, they can do anything that they really want to do. I mean, truly, you know, their powers are almost like Neo in the Matrix at that point, and there's really no longer any need for them to ever come back to Earth unless it's just to help people, which they do. And the last thing I want to say about the soul levels is that wanderers in the law of one, you've probably heard me talk about them, I also made a cool video on them, which you can watch right here. But Wanderers would be like level six or seven souls that come back to Earth, incarnate into a physical body to try to help the planet and help people. The only danger in doing so, according to the law of one, is that they could forget their mission and they could end up somehow picking up bad karma that they would eventually have to work off. Well, anyway, I hope that sheds light on the seven different levels of souls. Maybe you've learned something today. I don't know what level of soul you're at. If I had to guess myself, I would say I'm a two or a three. Anyway, I thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. I appreciate everyone subscribing, uh, giving me a like, all the comments. It's been wonderful. Um, thank you for joining me until the end. I'll see you all in the next video. And of course, namaste.